Hello, hello, Mr. Avery. I'm in my nebula where stars are born, and we're going to talk about stars today. So I have another gizmo for you that you're going to do when we're talking about stars. Let me share my screen real quick. All right, so I'm going to get to my uh, Canvas quiz. And the first thing you got to do is you'll see that you have a video guide, which this is what you're watching right now. Uh, so make sure you watch this whole video to, to understand how to do this gizmo. Then you have to click here to access your Clever. I've assigned you the gizmo in your Clever. Click on the Clever. Make sure you're signed in with your student credentials. And you'll see a gizmo rostering is what you're looking for. You know, you got a lot of clever buttons in here. Click on gizmo rostering, and then you'll find one in your gizmo rostering that says, uh, here is uh, an HR diagram. Click that open, uh, and you're going to get uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. You're going to see, I want you to click on HR diagram here, and it's going to put the HR diagram for you. Hopefully, you watched the Nearpod before you've gotten here. So if you've gone through the Nearpod, you understand exactly how to plot and exactly what I'm talking about when I say HR diagram. But here in the HR diagram, I have the brightness here on the left with the brightness uh, at the top and the very low brightness at the bottom. At the bottom here, uh, I have the temperature of the stars on this graph. This one's a little weird because the temperature is higher on the left side and it's cooler on the right side. So keep that in mind. So your main job here is to look at all of these stars and drag them over to the right bubble in the HR diagram. Uh, and here's one. Oh, look, this one says the sun. That's our star. Its luminosity is one. Uh, its brightness is one. So we're going to come over here, drag it into one. Now I got to find the temperature. Temperature is 57. There's 5,000. So 57 is right about there. I'm not going to stress that you have it exactly right, but drop it in about where you think it goes in the HR diagram. Oh, look, here's Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a, a super red giant. We talked about that. And here it's, it's going to be very bright. Its luminosity is 9,500. So there's 1,000, there's 20,000. So it's right about there. And this temperature is going to be 3,400 Kelvin. There's 2,000, so it's right about in the middle there. Uh, so you drop that in right where you think Betelgeuse goes. Uh, now you have a bunch of little white dwarfs. Uh, here is uh, some, some white dwarfs. Uh, let's drag this guy over here. The white dwarfs are going to be uh, very hot. So they're going to be down here in the, uh, in the hotness, but they're not going to be very bright. This luminosity is 0 0.0005. That's way down here, very low not very uh, bright at all, but its temperature is very hot, 68. So this white dwarf goes in, probably drop that guy right about in there. So your job is to drag all of these stars to the right bubble based on brightness or luminosity and its temperature. So you just gotta look, I'm not gonna stress that you got them perfect, but it ought to be reasonably accurate. Then you come back and you flip back and forth between that and your canvas quiz questions. Uh, and you're gonna see if you've plotted them right, the Canvas quiz questions ought to go easy. Question one, study the HR diagram. Which stars are white dwarfs? Come back to the HR diagram and you'll see the stars in here. To get their names, just hover over it uh, and it's gonna pull up the name. And, and so figure out which one of these questions are, are white dwarfs. I've already told you Betelgeuse is not a white dwarf. So you know it's not that one. So go through here and figure out which one of these selections are inside the bubble that says white dwarfs. So all of your stars ought to be in one of these bubbles somewhere. So plot them, answer the questions, and you do have three tries on this question. So if you're not happy with your score uh, the first time, maybe you didn't plot everything exactly right, uh, go back or maybe look through your Nearpod again, and then come back here and answer these questions, and, and you got three tries. Get your highest score. If I see that you got a low score and you only tried once, I'm going to fuss at you because I expect you uh, to try, use all your tries to get the highest score. So hopefully that helped you guys. Uh, and the schizmo is not very hard. So get it done and good luck. Bye for now.